Janet Kataham Seven, the Minister for Education and Sports, has assured Kabale National Teachers College students that the government will soon resolve the issue of their graduation. In May, the students of NTC Kabale petitioned the Parliament of Uganda and the Ministry of Education and Sports demanding the release of their results and graduation. These students had been admitted to the college as diploma students in 2019 and were supposed to graduate in 2021. However, they have been facing delays as their results and graduation have not been processed. Addressing the concern, the Minister of Education, in a message read by David Bahati, the State Minister for Trade, confirmed that the government is actively working to expedite the graduation process for these students. David Bahati represented the First Lady at the commissioning of infrastructure and the official closure of the Teacher Training Education TTE project. The TTE project, which began in October 2016, aimed to enhance secondary teacher education by providing colleges with better infrastructure, digitalization tools, efficient management practices, and safe learning environments. Under the TTE project, Annabelle, a Belgian development agency, facilitated infrastructure works worthy Ugandan shillings 29.2 billion at National Teachers College NTC Kabale and NTC Mubende. The project was also implemented in other national teachers colleges, including Kabale, Kalilo, Mubende, Muni and Unyama, with a focus on strengthening the professional competencies of teacher trainers and future teachers. Additionally, the TTE project emphasized the adoption of environmentally friendly renewable energy resources to reduce the carbon footprint. The minister's message reiterated the education ministry's commitment to resolving the graduation issues faced by the last batch of NTC diploma students. I have listened to the concern raised by our partners regarding the graduation of the last batch of grade 5 teachers. I'm aware that the Minister of Education and Sports is working hand in hand with the Minister of Finance and Chambogo University to ensure that the last cohort of NTC graduates receive their academic documents as soon as possible. This concern, I can assure you, will be handled. Bahati also acknowledged the challenges affecting NTC Kabare during his visit promising to present them to concerned ministry for resolution. I particularly note the challenge of habitat accommodation for students at this college and probably in other colleges, lack of various facilities within the, the college, the issue of captation of land, which has been mainly because of the resource envelope, we are looking at uh, a number of things and we have limited resource, but I note the concern of 1,800. 1, uh, I have also noted the issue of uh, malnutrition by, by the professor. I have noted the concern by also you about climate change and what we can do. Bahati outrend government's education sector priorities for the region. We believe as NLM that access to education was actually a big problem. And because of that, we made a policy of having a primary school per parish, a secondary school per sub-county, and we also talked about the vocational school. In some constituencies, we do have them. And for example, here in Kabale, it's a good example of what the NRM government has done in terms of education. We have, I think, the presence of more than five universities here in one district. As members of parliament, we are always really struggling to increase the budget in three areas. The first area we want the budget to increase is education. The second area is health, and the third area is agriculture. Speaking at the same function, 
Tom Vanest, the resident representative for Annabel in Uganda, reassured continued support from the Kingdom of Belgium despite the closure of the TTE program. We will also continue heavy investment in infrastructure in at least 20 schools. And we will continue our partnership with the NTCs as they play a vital role in, of course, the in-service teacher training. We are not going. I know, um, Minister, you're a minister of, minister of State for Industry. You'll be happy to know that we will continue on more than 10 years' investment in skilling and creating jobs. This will include an investment in the skills development for, for, uh, fund, so in skilling and non-formal training allowing youth within three to six months to get a trade and then to go into industry to support the private sector. The concept of continuous school practice that we've been working on to improve methodology in the teacher training institutions has also been extended to the partner secondary schools such that because they are the ones who have been hosting NTC teacher trainees in the different teaching practice activities as they pre prepare for their examination. While the beneficiaries of the project appreciated the initiative, they also appealed for further support to address existing gaps and ensure a comprehensive education experience for learners. The soft skills, we have been able to acquire them through different CPDs offered and they all enable us to address the 21st century skills. All these are in line with the National Development Plan and we are focusing at Vision 2040. The challenge and which is really hitting us bad is lack of habitable students and staff accommodation. We've already talked about it, but it still has the asbestos roofs, which are a health hazard. Under the TTE project, significant improvements were made in facilities at NTC Kabale and NTC Mubende, including water and power supply systems, a new gate with a gatehouse, external learning areas, landscaping works, fencing, water harvesting and drainage systems, and the renovation of ICT blocks, staff office blocks, and laboratories, among others. Overall, the government remains dedicated to resolving the graduation issue for NTC students and continues to prioritize improving the education sector in the region. A story by Jonah Namara, Nobachinjama Chifokiges TV.